By the end of this video, you'll be able to isolate the instrumentals in an audio recording using Audacity. Let's get started. So I've got an audio file that I'm working on in Audacity. So what I would like to end up with is a track that will have the instrumentals only. So basically, I want to remove the vocals from the audio that I'm working with. So the first thing you want to do is select the audio that you are attempting to edit. And there are a couple ways to do this. You can click here in the gray that will select the entire track, or you can go to the selection tool and just click and drag, and that will select a portion of your audio. Or lastly, you can choose an entire clip. And to do that, you click here on the top bar of the clip. And so that will select that audio clip. So with your audio selected, what I'm going to do first is actually duplicate this. So go up to edit and duplicate. You can also do copy and paste, whichever you want to do. So now I've got another track. So if you're doing something like a mashup or a remix, you've got the original ready to go if you need it. I want to point out it is important to start with a high quality recording before you do this process, because every effect that we put on the audio is going to degrade the audio a little bit. It's going to lower the quality of it. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and mute the second track so that I can just work on the first track. And let's go ahead and let you listen to this as it is right now. Okay, so you can hear what it sounds like now. I'm actually going to put my headphones on now so I can hear how each action and every effect that I add to this will change the audio. So first thing you want to do is have it selected and then go up to effect and you're going to look for special and then vocal reduction and isolation. If you're using an older version of Audacity, this might look a little different, but basically you're looking for the same thing. You're looking for vocal reduction and isolation, wherever that is in your older version. So go ahead and click that. And so that's going to bring up this tool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this back to the Fractor preset. So you see, this is probably what it will show up for you when you pull it up for the first time. Right now, what I need to do is tell Audacity that my action is that I actually want to remove the vocals so that the instrumentals remain. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Preview to see how this changed the sound. OK, so not bad. It, you can still hear the vocals slightly in the background. And most of what I'm hearing is actually like uh, echoes and reverb. So now I can actually start changing these knobs and these settings and see how it changes the audio. So strength, the larger this number is, the lower quality you're going to have, but it might do a better job at removing the vocals. So let's take a listen to this number. So again, you can see how it's changing it. I can still hear the vocals a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead with a smaller number, something like this. And again, when I'm playing with this, I like to take each knob to the extremes and see how it really changed the sound and if that's really what I want. So then you can also change these other knobs. And so let's see if I put this up, what it will do. I'm going to hit preview. So that actually did the opposite. That made the voice louder. So it seems like that number wants to be lower. So let's go really low. Not bad, but you can see how every time that I apply an effect that it changes the audio quality. So again, you, you want to play with these so that you have the right balance of audio quality with the desired effect. And remember, this is a free option in Audacity. I just wanted to show you that Audacity actually has some pretty powerful tools. It's not going to be as professional as some other products, something like an Isotope RX. So, But the Isotope RX is going to cost you some money. But this is at least a free option to get you in the right direction. And you might be able to get the, re the result you want using Audacity. OK, so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. And so when I do that, it's going to change the audio file, as you can see. So there are several other tools that you can do to fine tune removing the vocals. And you'll have it selected, and then go up to Effect. And then you can go up to EQ and Filters. And then you can do a high pass filter or a low pass filter. It depends on the vocals that you have. Some people have higher voices, and some people have lower voices. And so there might be times where you want to remove higher frequencies, and there's sometimes you want to remove lower frequencies. So in this case, I might want to use a high pass filter, and that might get rid of the lower frequencies. This will also affect the bass line as well and any other instrumentals that are in the same range as the vocals. So let's say preview this. So you can see the vocals are lessened, but also the bass line has almost been completely removed. So maybe I want to lower that setting, maybe to six. Not so bad. I don't seem to be having a lot of success with this one. Again, I'm just going to X out of that. And there are other effects. Again, you can keep trying. So I'm going to look at EQ and filters. And I like to use the filter curve EQ. You can use any of these. But with the filter curve EQ, basically, if you take this back to the factory presets, you can plot points on this line and then start experimenting with the different frequencies. So again, most uh, vocal ranges are going to be between 100 and 500 hertz. It depends on the voice. But that's where the, the voice is mostly at. And they, there's going to be other things in there as well. So let's say I want to remove more of the voice. I can bring that down. And then let's say I want to increase the instrumentals that are in the higher frequencies and let's say the bass line or something like that and that. So you might have something like that. I'm going to preview it. 
So you can see it actually brought up the bass pretty good. So I actually like the bass line now, so it's a little more powerful. Um, but you can see I still need to do some tweaking. And again, you can add as many dots to this as you want. And please play around with your file. So go ahead and lower these, take it to the extremes, and see what will work best so that you can get the result that you want. And so let's say I'm happy with that. I can go ahead and hit apply. And one thing to keep in mind is each effect that you add to this audio, again, will might create more artifacts or might degrade the quality a bit. If you would like to undo anything that you have done, you can go ahead and control Z and that will undo your last action. You can also go up to edit and click on undo. You can also redo if you liked one of your previous steps. And once you're happy with your track, you can go up to file and export. So you now know some powerful tools and how to remove vocals so that you're left with the instrumental track only. I have a beginner's guide that will show you A to Z how to use Audacity and I'll put a link to that video here.